I, I thought you were going to the hockey game with Junior. Junior's upstairs. The game is called off when the Zamboni machine broke down. What the devil have you two been doing? It's a fishing shack. What? A fishing shack. They use it to fish in the wintertime. In this weather? Yeah, they just cut a hole in the ice and, and they drop their lines in. Do you think it's safe here? We'll be okay in the morning. Nobody fishes at night. Okay. Oh, looks like somebody's been here recently. Great. They left us some food. <sighs> What's the matter, baby? Are you cold? Are you cold? Here, 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 here. Yes, put this around you, okay? There you go. Have you been crying? Your nose is red. Um, no. No, I went outside to get some things from my car. Um, must be from the cold. <laughs> that is my video camera, is it not? Yes, it is. I hope you don't mind that we used it. What for? Home movies? No, not exactly. Well, it must have been something very riveting, because uh, you both looked very serious when I came in. Well, we were in the middle of a conversation. It had nothing to do with what was on this tape. Really? What is on the tape? Not that it's any of your business, Adam, but, uh... I've been sending a message to some folks I know back in Pigeon Hollow. Kind of a New Year's greeting, you know, in person, or as close as I could get. Yeah. Yeah, what a splendid idea. Yes, I thought so. I bet I know most of those folks back in Pigeon Hollow. It'd be nice to know what's on the tape. Maybe I could add something of my own. <laughs> May I? No. Why not? It's personal. Personal? Or pornographic? Don't be disgusting. Back off, Chandler. I know you, Dixie. You don't know me. You're hiding something. You both look as guilty as sin. What is really on that tape? I've really had enough of the third degree. Then why can't you answer a simple question? Because she did. She told you it's a personal message to some friends. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but why go to all that trouble? Why not pick up the telephone? Because I don't have a video phone, and this is the next best thing? Why are you so suspicious? Why? Well, here we have a young woman and a young man. In a very large house, all alone, with a video camera, and the servant's night off. Now... What better opportunity to exercise some of your innermost fantasies? You are such a pig. Get your mind out of the gutter, Chandler. I think you owe this lady an apology. Well, thank you very much, but I, I won't hold my breath. <laughs> Tell me, how personal can a New Year's wish to the good people of Pigeon Hollow be? It is my life, and it's my tape. You heard the lady, Chandler. I'm having a private conversation with the mother of my son. You can leave at any time. I'm sorry, but... But I came with Dixie, and I intend to leave with her. We can't just leave the guy unconscious lying on the floor, lying on the floor of an empty house. I never should have hit him. But... I, the only thing I wanted to do was, was, was trying to stop him from calling the police. Ryan, God is going to punish me for this. Hey, take it easy, baby. It's not like you killed the guy. I would have done exactly the same thing as Mateo if I was in his shoes. You would? Of course I would. Don't you know that by now? Especially after everything you've done for me. Yeah. I didn't do that much. Oh, you didn't do that much? Just raised $50,000 for my bail. Helped me escape from the police. But most of all, you, you just... Never stop believing in me when I said I didn't rape Kid Fisher. Baby, you have been my life support system through this entire thing. 
And I love you for that. I love you too. And I don't want to lose you. Not ever. We're in this together. Ryan, give me the phone. I, I have a great idea. What? Who are you going to call? Don't worry, my love. I know what I'm doing. I don't know why I didn't think of this a long time ago. Hello? Raquel, are you, are you alone? Yeah, who's this? It's Julian. But don't say my name unless you're alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Where are you? I mean, everybody in this whole town has been looking for you. Listen, never mind where I am. Mateo needs your help. Mateo, why what? Do you know where Linden House is? No, no. Um, it's, it's Erica's old house. But it's a big white house with, with big iron gates. Go there as soon as you can. What has Erica Kane's old house got to do with Mateo? It doesn't matter. Just go there. Mateo's been hurt. What? Just go. Get there as soon as you can before it's too late. You to the no, no, no hospital. Tao, you need a doctor. You were in a coma last year for a couple of weeks. I mean, what if this is a relapse? Believe me, it's not a relapse. But well, see, oh. you can't even stand up. I'm just dizzy. I'm just dizzy. That's that. What? What is it? I can't focus. It's, everything's fuzzy. Tao, that does it. Look. I'm either taking you to the hospital or I'm calling you an ambulance. Okay? That's your call. Okay, all right, we'll go to the hospital. Okay. Okay, okay you just lean on me, all right? All right? Okay. You better leave voluntarily, or shall I have the police arrest you for trespassing? Which do you prefer? <laughs> You think you're so tough, the great Adam Chandler. You know you're nothing but a bully. Beats having your face velcroed to Palmer Cortland's behind. Is that why you're dallying with his niece to curry favor with the old goat? All right, that's enough. Now, well, thank you for trying to help, Braden. I really appreciate it. But let me just let me handle him. Look, we're done here. Let's just go, OK? Adam Chandler. Adam, it's Owen. You pulled me off the golf course for nothing. What do you mean, for nothing? My daughter's in jail. And she'll have to stay there. I thought you were going to talk to the judge who issued the contempt order. I did, but he's new to the bench, and I've never even met the man, so there were no favors I could call in. Oh, come on, there's got to be some way you can talk reason to him. What They'd he... have no right to keep Haley locked up. What he did was within his authority, and he's not about to back down. Doesn't he have an Achilles heel? Not that I know of. So, until your daughter decides to cooperate, I think you'd be wise to drop it. No, I'm not going to let Haley spend another night in that cell. Then my advice is get her to talk. I don't need your advice. Thanks, Owen, for nothing. Well, I guess it didn't work this time, did it? What didn't work? Your old boy network. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Please. Oh, you know, fine. I'm tired. I gotta take Junior back to Uncle Palmer's. Would you mind um, getting the car and bringing it around front? D don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll get Junior. I'll meet you right out front. Sure. I thought Junior was spending the night with me. 
Oh, really? So you can disappoint him again? I didn't disappoint him. I love that boy. It's not my fault they canceled the hockey game. Oh, you're right. Try it. Dixie, what is this about? This isn't about hockey, I know that. You've been acting strangely ever since I walked in here tonight. It's nothing, it's nothing. Dixie. Dixie, I've known you since you were a teenager. I can read you like an open book. Now, I can help you, I think, if you'll help, if you'll let me. It's Junior. So, what'd you think? Take it off. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's that? It's my mother. Oh. Mom! Oh, darling. What are you doing back? Well, your father's not speaking to me. Why? Because I forgot my bag. Sweetheart, what on earth are you doing in your nightgown at this hour? Oh, um, well, it's new, Mom. I, I thought that I would try it on. You like it? Well, it looks lovely. It's pretty enough for a trousseau. Oh, well, I'm not ready to get married, Mom. Well, that's good because you are far too young. Yeah, I understand. Oh, uh, oh, here's your bag uh, over here. Wouldn't you know? It's so typical of me. There you go. Oh, look, you better get going. You know how Dad hates to be late. Wait a minute. I've got a great idea. You run upstairs, put on that beautiful dress you brought for the prom, and come with us. Mm, Mom. Oh, darling, I promise you'll have a good time. Well, I, I really don't want to go. I have a headache. I'm sorry. I know. I, I just need to go to bed early, that's all. Well, did, you, did you take something for it? I will. I promise. I, I just need a good night's rest, you know. Oh, all right, darling. Well, maybe I should stay home with you and cancel. Oh, no, Mom. Y you know... Daddy would be really angry with you if you missed the first dance. He was looking forward to it. <laughs> You're right. One thing about your father, he does love to dance. That's true, and he's very good at it. You tell him to have fun, okay? I will, darling. Okay. And listen, remember to tiptoe around tomorrow morning, because I'm planning on sleeping till noon. Okay. <laughs> have a good time. Mm. Mm. Sweet dreams, okay. and feel better. I will. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well done, Miss that's a new negligee, huh? Be quiet, please. Oh, I like it. Mm. Did it? Mm. Quit what? It. That? Yes. My father's mm. opening the door for They're almost gone. Wonderful. Mm. Dad. They're gone. Good. Well, um, let's have some wine, okay? How about that? Wine? Yeah, it, it's really good. I, I, I chilled it. That's great. We can drink it upstairs. Well, no, I, I think that we should drink it down here. Liza, what's wrong with you? Why won't you just relax? I really don't understand why you're so afraid. I don't know. Look, Liza, I, I'm sorry. I, I know it's your first time, and I know that you're frightened, but I swear you'll, you'll, you'll love it. Look, it's not that. It's... What? You went to the doctor, didn't you? Then what are you worried about? Dad, I want it to be meaningful. It will be. I promise. Dad, will you please tell me how much you care for me? 
Liza, you're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, please. Please, I need to hear it right now. No. No, you don't need any wine. You don't need any more talk. What you need is me. You know, I'm actually beginning to enjoy this. It's been nice getting to know you.